relationships. It's still, he won't let that go. It's concerning relationships, forgiveness and unforgiveness. It's still here. I feel it. If you don't want to come to the front, don't come to the front. But if you know that that's you, you need to understand that God wants to truly, truly change that circumstance in your life. You're believing for change in an individual. But they show kindness and they show a facade for a brief moment and they lapse back to how they really are. <coughs> Your false hope is set on what they show you up front. But when they go and revert back, because that's the thing that hurts you the most. Because you believe in them even more. As somebody in this room concerning that. It's become free. There you go. Okay. God will give you the grace and give you the strength to you. He will. You're walking in fear. In fear. I speak blessings in that fear. Blessings into your life. With such peace, God, with such peace. The joy that you deserve, a joy and a peace that you can hold your head up and know that God truly, truly, truly has set you on a course with Him and God. Lord, I just thank you right now for heaviness right now in the heart, God. The fear that's in the mind, in Jesus' mighty name, I speak blessings into her life. Blessings. I bind that fear right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus. You won't be alone. You won't be alone. And I hear your heart clearly. Clearly. I hear your heart. I hear your heart. I hear it. You won't be alone. You won't be alone. You won't be alone. Your word take root, God. Your word, God. Your word. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Strength and peace unto you. Speaking to your spirit, man. Your spirit shall live and not die. Your spirit shall flourish in the things of God. And you'll see the blessings of God be upon your life. Upon your life. That you will sleep at night in peace. Peaceful dreams. And even when you're alone, you won't feel alone no more. You'll know. I bind the spirit of rejection and abandonment off of your life and off of your lineage in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Love you are a beautiful child. Beautiful child. You have a lot of peace inside of you and a lot of joy inside of you. But you keep holding it down because you're trying to live hard. You're trying to live hard. That's not you. You're having to live hard because of the association of friends around you. And they're always hard. They're rough. And they speak things. And even you yourself know that that's not who you are. Let me declare it to you, beloved. You are just like a rose that is about to blossom. Everything about you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet is about to change and transform with the renewing of your mind. That means that God's going to show you things differently, to see things differently. You'll be able to laugh and have fun with friends that are not going to hurt you and talk about you, that you will know that they are truly your friends. You have a tendency to be around people that always want to do things and hurt other people. And you in the midst.
rest of it is getting hurt by what they say and what they do. Watch as God begins to change you to become the influence. To become the influence. You don't smile much here, but you have a beautiful smile. A very beautiful smile. You can change the atmosphere, which is you. The countenance, as I'm speaking to you, is beginning to change. There's a darkness that lingers over you that is leaving. You're not alone. You're not rejected. You're accepted. The thoughts that come into your mind that are not good, I'm binding right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a change that I see that is coming. Lord, I just thank you right now. I thank you for the peace and the love and the joy. The peace and the love and the joy that's in you. You're a beautiful child. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful child. Quit selling your social. Oh, yeah, you're, you're a beautiful child. Many friends, many friends, many friends, you'll see. I see the change. I already see it. I could see the light that was coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And it was driving out darkness that was in your head. You had anger built up in there. Wow. And God says, he's removed it. He's removed it. He's going to bring clarity for you in this scene. Yes. There's a lot of things you don't understand and you, 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 it's uncomfortable for you. And because you don't understand and it's uncomfortable, you'll shut down, you'll clam up, and you won't let anybody in. And in that time of your life, when you sit in your room, you put your headphones on, and you're mad, that's when God's going to speak to you again. You will. When you open your closet, I see you open your closet, and you're looking at another day. It's another day. Another day. And I see you open your closet again this time. Thank you. You have a different pep in your step. I can tell you right now that there's things happening inside of you. I can feel it in my body. It's changing right now. You're going to have a better understanding of the things that you see, you hear, and don't understand. He's going to give you clarity. God will give you clarity. You don't have to read your Bible. You don't have to be in church. He's just doing it because He loves you. That's how much God loves you. I see it happening. I see it happening. You can be getting some phone calls bro, concerning your friends. Concerning your friends. Be the light. Speak the truth. Just speak the truth. Speak the truth. So you can smile and be free. Amen? Amen. Amen. There's an influence that is trying to keep Trying to keep you from receiving what God has for you. And this influence is called doubt. It's called doubt. It wants to make you doubt in the Word of God. It wants to make you doubt that you're ever going to receive what God truly has for you. This influence is trying to keep you from receiving your own healing, your own blessings that are rightfully yours, that are formed and fitted just for you. But doubt keeps creeping that over and over. Over and over. Now then I speak to you in the name of Jesus, the Most High. You are precious in His eyes. You are the rose and the apple of His eye. As He looks upon you and He gazes His Spirit upon you, the face of God be upon you to keep you and sustain you. You are precious. You are beautiful. You are welcoming and welcomed. You're not a reject. You're not an outcast. You are a precious child of God. I speak life into your spirit and into your mind. I bind those thoughts that are dark and dismal in your life. You are not alone. You are not alone. God is with you, standing with you. He will keep you. He will sustain you. I speak joy into your spirit and joy into your life. Joy. That re rejection and abandonment that has stemmed for two generations, I bind it right now off of your life in Jesus' mighty name. 
Take your filthy hands off of her, devil. She is a child of God, bought with the precious blood of the Lamb, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak life. I speak health. I speak blessings into your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, yeah, something, Spirit? David. David and Amanda. Is that that? Yeah. Okay. I know. I felt they wanted to come up when they were asking for prayer, and you kind of held back. And I see a very like heaviness on you. No more like worry. A lot of worry on you as well. And like in your spirit, it's David, right? I feel like weariness on you. You're very weary. It's almost like you're tired. You just. It's almost like a message was about. It's just tired of running. study opening up in your home. As you do that, you're going to be reaching out to those that knew you from before. And they will understand that there was a change and a transformation that took place and truly God has downloaded His Spirit, His wisdom, and His knowledge into you. And you begin to speak with such authority and understanding <coughs> with the wisdom and revelation of God. It's unlocked for ministry. It's unlocked for ministry. The more you seek Him, the more he's given. You've been faithful to seek. You've been faithful to continue pressing on. I do see it coming. The knocks and the phone calls will come to you. 
and it'll be people of your past because through association, they know you and they're going to come to your home. You've asked, you've given your home over to God. When will you use it? You thought it was for the younger generation. Watch as God is bringing you the elders that need to be rejuvenated, refilled, refueled, and refired through your ministry. You have a ministry both through a ministry of restoration and refueling, and that you will release them back into their churches, into their ministries. Who? They're not new believers. They're not new believers. I understand that mandate and call. I understand what that entitles and what it calls for. I thank you, God, for your presence, for your presence in their life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 We'll see more happening. More happening for you. More. Well, I just want to say a word real quick. Yes. I've been asking for Paul to pray for children that are sick and in healing. And my spirit grieves for them. I can see them. I can tell my wife. I want that bonus just to go up there and not be afraid. Thank you for doing that. Just to pray and healing the love and the compassion that he shows for us. That he wants for them to be healed. Thank you. Amen. Through obedience. Through obedience. To move in that, and we felt it. It wasn't done. We felt it. We knew it. Um, that boldness comes the more you do, the more you do, the more you do. It continues. But you're asking wisdom. I keep seeing wisdom. You're asking for more. You rightly want to divide the word of God to have an understanding. When that wisdom comes, He gives you the other things that you didn't ask for. You, you just desire. Healing virtue flows. You're in a ministry in your own self, in your own self, that deals with signs and wonders. That's why that passion's there. That's why that passion's there. But that's why you go through what you go through. That's why. There was an unlocking. I felt it. I felt the download. I felt God giving you and filling you up. Amen. And then I saw the ministry released. I saw it released. And then do it. Do it. You know, if you want to go lay hands on people, you want to go to... Um, to the hospitals and go lay hands and go, go, I right, bless you in the name of the Lord, go. If I have to ordain you guys to go and do it, there's, there's going to be some ordinations in the house. There will be. Amen. Um, not for the house, for the kingdom. For the kingdom. So that you can go. We'll ordain you to go. Go. You're God's. You're God's people. God's people. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Also, when, when I hug them, like I was, it was kind of like I started smelling like a burning, like incense, and, and that's why I was like throw me off track because I never smelled it. But that's when that also happened right after. But yeah, and, and, and that's when like I was like with I could just smell something, and then also when I saw it there, I saw like a cloud, like a real, like a cloudy, like when it's real cloud, I couldn't see very good, but I just saw like a cloud, like it was like cloudiness, like it's almost like. You know, like a foggish kind of cloud. I identified that. There, like, mm -hmm. I saw it too. You saw it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, and that's when you guys were like, what's going on? Like, I couldn't see. I was like, so blurry, but I saw like right in the back, it was real cloudy. Like, kind of like a mist or something. Yeah. You saw it, Jen? Mm -hmm. Anybody else see anything else they want to share? No? Yes, sir. So washing with the word of God will bring every filth and every dirt off of you. And if it's the mud, the thing that I remember about God is that when Jesus healed the blind man, he spit in the ground, he grabbed the mud, and put it in the blind man's eyes. It brought healing to the vision. To the vision. So I, I receive it. I receive it. I welcome it. The the cloud that is is prevalent with the witnesses bearing witness. I know that there's there's beautiful things.
things that are going to happen for the people of God if they just grab home. Grab home. Somebody has problems with their stomach right now. Right now. I feel it. I feel it just turning right now. And I did not have it today. I feel it. Who is it? You're in the room. You're in the room. It's turning like nerves turning. And all of a sudden it's like it, it, it's it's like your 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 lining of your, your stomach turns, you get a pain, and then it releases. It's like nerves. Like fear is gripping you. Who is it? It's in the room. It's in the room. There's a fear concerning nerves. It's nerves. You want to let go. You try trying to push it down, you're trying to push it down. I don't want to see this, I don't see it, but it's happening. It's happening. What is it? Is it you? Is it you? Yes. That's the grace of God, man. It's the grace of God. I felt it very strong, it hit me very strong, kind of got kicked in my stomach. In the name of Jesus, God, right now, I take authority over this right now. In Jesus, my name, I take authority over it now. Every sickness and every disease, every lying spirit that tries to come and deceive, distract, and to lie into this household, into this house of God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare the virtue of healing of God. Flow from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. We release the pain right now. In Jesus' name, these ghost pains go. Go now. In Jesus' name. Alan, open up that back door. Open that door. I'm sending this thing out once and for all. In the name of Jesus, you loose and let go. Yes. We cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. You will not take root. Get out now in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of the Lamb, Jesus, washes you clean, white as snow. I thank you for the regeneration process in every organ of this body right now in Jesus' mighty name. That which was destroyed is now regenerated. Once again, wholeness in Jesus' mighty name. I bind that fear off of you right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for victory in his life. Victory, God. Victory, God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of God's children said, Amen. Amen.
I saw you and I saw your ankle. I was like, I want you to pray for me. Yeah, I feel you. The hands the hands on you to do so. says to those that are afflicted to come up before the elders of the church will anoint them with oil and that the elders pray. This is the, the prayer of faith for healing. Right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare it right now. We declare it so, Father God. We dissolve it right now. We dissolve it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, Father, for your healing virtue that flows right now, God. Your healing virtue that flows. But we thank you that by your stripes she is healed. She is healed in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that by your stripes, God, in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you for the healing virtue right now. Uh, Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's the release. There's the release. I feel I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. That goes to Zola, God. Remove it. Remove the pain. With the evidence, God, that it is gone, we declare it so. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Receive it all, Lord. Just receive it all. Let him take it and take it and take it. You're on fire. I feel you. The heat is on you right now, all over you. That's God's presence. That's his blessing. Not coming back on the month. 
monthly basis, you'll see it's coming. You'll see it's coming. <coughs> In Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Wow. Hmm. By that condemnation of people, there's nothing you did. You're not being punished. In Jesus' name. Joy and walk in that freedom. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. In Jesus' name. Yeah. I was going to take some of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> stay as sensitive as possible as I can. And sometimes there's a distraction will come, something will come. And all of a sudden, if you, if you just activate or something, you're feeling something, it's just say it, say it. I am not Jesus. I am not God. I'm not going to know it. Somebody else may have it. Just, just do it. I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you did it, sir. And I know she didn't want to. Yeah. Neither did you. Neither did you. But I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. I mean, I'm so glad that you did. Yes, sir. I have a word for um for David. I was watching a very powerful woman of God about a month ago on TV, and um, she's been healed of cancer. And um, she had a very very powerful scripture, and the Lord gave that to me. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna start giving this away, you know, to people who deal with sickness, which is pretty much everybody that walks. And um, this scripture is for you, David. Um, hold on to it. Pen it down on the table of your heart. Rehearse it. Open your mouth. Utter it morning, day, and night. For snack, for anything in between. I mean, speak it. Believe it with your whole heart. And the scripture is in Nahum. Okay, it's uh, Nahum 1 and it's 9. Uh, Nahum 1 verse 9. And it says, um, What do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. He already made an utter end of your sickness. He already brought it to complete death, it's gone, it's been bound, it's been re rebuked, and it's been um, uprooted from your life. He already healed you from it. And the second part of that says, and affliction will not rise a second time. Mm, that's good. It is not going to come back. Not a second time. He utterly, utterly, he didn't just heal you from it. He didn't just take it away. He didn't just remove it. He utterly destroyed it. That means it's done. He did it. It, it, not it shall be done. It will be done. It is done. You are healed. And you are healed. You are healed. And that will not come to you a second time. And anybody who wants to take that scripture and apply it for healing, because we have to believe like Pastor Marty said, you know what? We all go through this. We either believe God or we don't. We either do or we don't. And you know what? I know that you believe, Brother David. I know that you do. And Amanda, you know, I haven't forgotten the text that you sent me. You said that, you know, you were sick and that you would tell me about it. We haven't had an opportune time, but, you know, you were prayed for. I was about to make my way over there to pray for both of you, but, you know, the Lord, you know, had you walk up there and, and your sickness has been dealt with, it's been utterly dealt with. Mm. We have to believe that. So we receive it for you. Right, we do. We receive it for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you.
that's the thing with the verse one. Um, I know right now you're battling some things, but I saw a little bit of depression that you've been battling a little. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of like, worry. Um, but another thing that the Lord impressed on me, like him, like to pray for you, to give you a, like another, like a, regen like a regeneration, like a, like a fire, because like I, I see things that they're coming against you. Um, you your, your spirit is getting really drained. I feel your spirit very drained. And, and I just felt to you the time last week when I felt to you, I felt you. I felt you with like a lot of some sadness too in, you, in your heart. And then that's what I'm seeing right now in you. And then I don't know if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I think you're dancing around something very specific that you don't want to speak out. Um, you're <coughs> just praying. Okay. And let God speak as you're praying. Because you're, you're dancing around something, trying to be delicate. Right. And as you try to be delicate, you're missing the, the, the main thing that you need to get to. around the issue. You have to just get there. Just get there. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now, Father. We just thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands on your hands. Right there. Father, we just thank you for the anointing. We thank you that you're the anointed one. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're about to do in our lives. We thank you that every heaviness has been identified, but we thank you that it's removed right now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that that way